Just Sam here from Sensational. So, we have had several looks over the past few weeks, but now, this is the one that got me. The new Chrome. These will be sold in boots, and you'll find all these different shades. I can't wait to experiment with these because it's gonna be festival season, literally around the corner. So, I don't know what you're thinking, but I'm gonna go wild with this and then at festivals with my blinging nails and on holiday. So, of course, as always, make sure to give it a like, comment, share, and subscribe, and that bell notification button. Ching! So, I've already prepped my nails. If you want to know how to prep your nails in depth, go and check out the link in the description box. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm picking up my color, which is called Not My Nana's Pearls. It's a lovely white color, but it is an express gel. You can either use any gel color or any express gel color to go ahead and do this. So let's get to it. I've gone ahead and used a white color, but don't let that stop you because you can use literally any color or even have just the clear base coat, so. Take your pick, go wild girls, or boys. So, this was a very difficult decision and I couldn't make my mind up when it came to which chrome to use today, so why not live like a crazy wild person and use every single color? Hey, so to start off with, I'm gonna pick Iridescent Unicorn and let's get to it on just the one finger. In your packet, just as a reminder, you will get your chrome powder, your little applicator, and your no wipe top coat. So, let's just go ahead and test this out. I'm gonna go for the little pinky, and we've got a little bit of product there. I don't know how this is gonna go, but this is gonna be interesting. Let's check this out. Wow. That is a unicorn. So you don't have to go wild on the product, I think. You can use quite a little bit or a lot to build it up, but in general, I've only used a little dab. And there's still some excess there that I can just swipe off in a bit when it's I'm done. So you just wanna rub it in with the applicator, but you can also go ahead and use your finger if you want the extra to make sure it's down and then just wash your hands after. Once that chrome is all on throughout your entire nails with all the colors you've picked, you can go ahead and use your top coat and then obviously use your LED lamp. For our second color, why not? Let's go with the Iridescent Glitter Flake. So this is gonna be interesting. So it's a chrome, but it's a flaky chrome. So I've never used anything like this. So let's go with the flow and try this out. This is gonna be so cool. As always, you get your chrome powder in there and you also get your top coat and your applicator. <gasps> wow, look at that, that is so pretty. Oh, this is gonna be so exciting. So with your applicator, you can be quite rough because it's quite puffy and then you just wanna grab it and let's see about rubbing it around and say, oh wow. So like I said, it's more flaky, but it's very chromey. And you can actually put this all over your nail if you want, or even use a specific tool to kind of go around to make a design. But that is so amazing and so cool. Wow. I think my life is complete now. For our third color, we are gonna use rose gold and the same type of products come in your package, your chrome and also your no white top coat. And the applicator, of course. I can't miss the applicator out. This is so pretty too. I just can't believe it. I couldn't, chromes are literally my favorite thing in life. And if you can find a good chrome, this is such a beautiful rose gold. This would be so perfect as well for the beach on your toes. When you're in Ibiza or in Turkey or in Almadena. 
anywhere. You're ready to go with beautiful fingers and nails. With number four, we are going to go ahead and use blue chameleon. So I've never seen a chrome like this, so it's going to be interesting to see what kind of chrome this is going to be like. As always, you get your chrome, your gel top coat and your beautiful applicator. So let's go ahead and take a little smidge of that. Oh, this is so pigmented. This is very bluey, purpley. It's giving me so many galaxy vibes. This would be perfect for a festival, for sure. A night rave festival, 100%. The other great thing about these, they're so easy to apply and it's foolproof. If I can apply them, anybody can apply them, let's face it. So that blue chameleon blew me away. Let's see what red chameleon's like. I'm so interested to see how this one turns out. And as always, it's got the same amount of products in there, your chrome and your gel coat. Wow. This is like real duochrome. It looks greeny, but then from certain angles, it looks reddish purpley. It's very different. I can't believe it. I've never seen anything like it. As you move your finger around, you get like a gold green and kind of like a reddish pinkish chrome to it. It's very, it's like trio chrome. For our final color, I'm gonna do some few little different things. We're gonna actually use the holographic color. But before I do that, I've made a bit of a decision that I'm gonna leave a few nails clear. I'm gonna use a very maroony red, which is called Never Stop Whining on one of the nails. And I'm also gonna use Not My Nana's Pearl as well to see the difference in each nail with the different colors under and as well with the clear one. Let's see how that comes out. After that, you wanna go ahead and cure it with your LED lamp. So, let's see how this powder performs on these three different colors. We've got clear, we have never stop whining, and not my Nana's pearls. What a name, what a fab name. I wonder who comes up with these names like, yeah, we're gonna call it not my Nana's pearls. Right, I'm taking just a little bit Let's go in with the white. Oh my gosh. So this is your typical, what you would get with a holographic, because this is quite a common one. So I think this is beautiful for your holidays or festivals to get a nail to stand out. You could have this as a full set or as just the one to make it stand up. So now we're going on to the little ring finger and the same again it's white so it'll be obviously the typical thing that you would see with this holographic chrome again very easy to apply and to use it's not messy as well i've seen some chromes they can be really really messy and hard to clean up and i know already from looking at this this is going to be easy to clean up we're going in for the red one burgundy slash red let's see the difference if there's going to be one Right, so it gives like a glow, and that looks amazing as well. It's obviously darker because it's a burgundy color, but it gives like a holographic burgundy nail, but it'll look good once I clean up the nail, but so far, I'm loving it. I've wanted to see how it goes with the clear nail, so this is gonna be exciting. This is probably the one I've been waiting for the most. Here we go. Oh, this has got to be my favorite for sure. So we've got the whites, we've got the burgundy slash red, and then our clears. I must say, I do love the white and the clear, but clear has got to win for me, 100%. But you know, depending on your mood, you might go for a wacky, crazy color or for a nude or a clear, you never know. So this is how we're looking right now. I am so pleased, I cannot believe it. I'm such a dummy when it comes to nails and I've grown so much with how to apply and tips and tricks. And honestly, if I can do it, anybody can do it. 
But before you go ahead and leave your house and get on with life as you do, you wanna go ahead and use any top coat that you might have, put a clear set of that, and then go ahead and LED lamp it with your Sensational lamp. Now you wanna finish off with a gel cleanser and a lovely pad. Something to mention that when you are doing your top coat on every single nail, make sure that every application before you dip it back into the pot, you have one of these pads on the side just to give it a wipe to make sure that when it goes back in the pot, you're not taking in a load of the chrome powder in there if there's any excess on your nails because otherwise it will end up like a hot mess in your pot and we don't want that. Don't want it, no way. Hope you enjoyed watching me, how I do these chrome nails. I absolutely loved it. I want to know what you guys thought and how you got on with what colours and which colour you picked as I'll be trying these out over the next few weeks and yeah, I'll probably update you guys on Instagram or something because these are absolutely amazing. And as always, make sure to give it some love and I hope to see you next time. See ya!